All right, it's time for Max's book number four. Man, I don't have stretch arms. I don't have Mr. Stretch Arms. So, what's up, Bo? What you doing over there? Okay, we got this one. Tell us what you got. Are you interested, Bo? You think you got a treat. Violeta, Violeta? Is it in Spanish? Uh, I know the author is from Chile, so I'm assuming it was translated in English. All right, let's see the cover. And then are you going to take a week on this one too? Depends on if I like it. Depends <laughs> on how interesting it is. Okay. And he, he filled up his scrapbook, so he needs another one. And Violeta Isabel Allende. 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 All right. We'll be back. Damn. I don't know how, how I soon. I, was I don't know how soon we'll be back, but stay tuned. All right. That was book four that you finished? Yeah. What was it called? Violeta. Violeta? Yeah. He thinks it's food. <laughs> by? Uh, by Isabel Allende. Okay. What was it about? Uh, <clears throat> well, basically, it's about this girl named Violeta. Um... It's not specified which country it is, but mm -hmm. it's the author's from Chile, so I'm assuming it's like Chile or one of those countries. Um, but basically, blah, blah. basically it's um, this girl, she's born in 1920, and anyways, basically it takes place within the span of 100 years. So it goes from when she was born to when she dies, basically. And, um, basically it's just her life with her family, um, being basically like, she's a part of this kind of like wealthy, but not wealthy family, like they're mm -hmm. a higher status pretty much. And then the great depression happens. So then they have to basically get rid of this mansion that they live in and move to the countryside. And then it also talks about the um, dictatorship that happened in South America during the 60s and 70s. And yeah. So pretty much it's just about like this girl's life growing up in a dictatorial um, country. Cool. So. Yeah. All right. There you go. What do you give it? I give it like a five stars. There you go. So we're ready for book number five. Five. All right. Stay tuned for that.